Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. May Lord bless you. May Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. This is just a caution for somebody, you know. When someone really want to win your trust back, the person will not pass through cut shots. You understand? When somebody really need you again, even if one thing or the other happens and you were no longer the, the, the people you used to be together, the friends, the family, uh, the lover, the, 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 the spouse, the partner, whatever, the business partner that you used to be, one thing can, can lead to another and divide friendship and divide whatever you have with someone. When I mean whatever, it means that having relationship is not just about, you know, marriage, spouse and all of that. It goes beyond that business partners and all of that project partner uh, school partners many ways when you find yourself being let down in such group or in such area of life sometimes you want those people you want to try to like trust these people again when they are trying to win your trust again but this is certain you can't win somebody trust by lying. That is a very wrong way of trying to win you back. Hallelujah. That is a very wrong way. If somebody choose to be at peace with you, the person should be truthful. You know, sometimes truth hurts, which is we know that truth really hurts. Truth hurts so much that the world fights to cover it up. Anything that you see that the world is against, anything good that you know that the world is fighting, is fighting against, and there's only few people that are standing for it, just know that this is the truth. They don't want it out because it's going to hurt them. Hallelujah. When someone wants to be at peace with you, they should come, you know, they should come in a truthful manner. You know, they are like, uh, the Bible says love covers a multitude of sin, right? So, though love covers a multitude of sin, it means that that person needs to come sincerely. For that love to be able to cover the multitude of whatever offense they have done against you or against your life or anything that concerns you. Someone wants to be at peace. You are like, oh, they are telling you, I want to be at peace with you. Oh, I want to be with, at peace with you. And Jesus said that we should be at peace with all men. Pursue peace. Be at peace with all men. You are like, okay, you want to be with, at peace. I'm already at peace with you because I've forgiven you. That is the peace that Jesus was, was really talking about. Forgiveness, you know. Be at peace with all men. Forgiveness. That is what he was talking about. He didn't say that we should go and take spoon and start eating with demons because we want to be at peace with all men. The same Jesus told us to wash and pray. He told us that we should wash and pray. Hallelujah. So we should pray, we should wash. You understand? The same Jesus told us that we should come out among them as he taught us a lot of things. So when he said be at peace with all men, he didn't say go inside them and become one of them. Hallelujah. When somebody wants to win your trust back after something happened, one thing led to another and everything destroyed, the trust, everything is gone, the person should come sincerely. Telling you that I want to be at peace with you. I want to be at peace with you, but yet deep down, they are coming with lies. They want to cut the corner. I've, I've encountered people like that in my journey. They want to come in a short corner to make you feel as if you are the one that does not want peace. But the one, the way they are coming, they are coming with anger. They are coming with lies. They are want, they want to like make you 
become or look like the victim. It doesn't happen that way. They want your trust back. It is okay. But let them come with a clean mind. Open it and start using lies to cover lies. It doesn't help because no matter how much they lies, it's going to get exposed. This is why sometimes I stay away from people like that because it can make you become so annoyed. You are like, this is what you need to do. You are not doing it, but you are acting as if I'm the one at fault. You know, in that process, you find yourself struggling. You find yourself struggling. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The person that want to be at peace with you, it is okay if you want to be at peace with them. But the reason why you are still feeling hot is because the person is not coming in truthfulness. He's still trying to cover all they have done against you with lies upon lies upon lies upon lies. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now they want to feel as if you are the one that don't want peace. You want peace. But they can't continue to cover lies with lies and making you look as if you are the bad person yes you are forgiven if they want to be at peace with you let them come with repentance let them speak out the truth the bible says the truth will set us free let them stop beating around the bush i pray the lord help us in the name of jesus it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist sarah by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.